In this video, we're going to look at functions. Functions are a nice way of going through and grouping statements together. You see, what happens is that a lot of times you'll have comments and statements and all kinds of things going on, and you'll want to group them together as a unit. So the way you can do that is you put the word uh, def or definition to define a function. You make up a name, throw a couple of parentheses together, a colon, indent some code, and that's it. You've got yourself a function. Let me show you an example. This code doesn't do a whole lot, but it tests to see whether something is true or not. So let's say I want to wrap it up in a function. I type in def, I come up with some kind of name. I don't know. You just make up a name. And then you indent it. You notice that when I made the if statement, I had indented the print statement, and that's important. Python looks at the indentation and um, makes a decision about what you're trying to say based on indentation. So I need to indent that also. In this case, I entered, I think, a tab. Oops, I forgot the if. <laughs> Throw this down from uh, the last demo. That's not going to work too well. Okay, so it would be tab will work. Couple tabs. The key in indentation is be con uh, being consistent. Okay, that's it. Now that is all you really need. The fact that the code's indented indicates to Python that those statements are grouped under EIEIO. Only test ran because I never called the function. But the function actually loaded up into memory. So the deal is, is that it loads that code but doesn't actually run it. To run it, you need to call it. Calling, you just refer, it's just referring to it by name. And you can see that, test to see whether or not it's true that A is equal to A. And it turns out that that's false because of case sensitivity. But it did run the code. Of course, I think I'd give it a better name. Demo methods certainly better than EIEIO, but I think you get the idea. My preference is to indicate to people that I'm actually the function ends at some point by just putting in end the name of the function. That is a personal preference. Not everybody likes it. I just think it makes the code easier to read. But again, that is a personal choice.